Babe, you have to come see what Laurel I did in the coil pin while you were at work this week. Come look. All right, guys. Thanks for joining us for another one. Uh, we got some new birds to show you, of course. And um, I'm not the only one excited about these little boogers. These little guys have got the attention from everyone in the family, even the animals that run around here. Yeah, so, um, but especially my daughter. So as Ben told you, we got some new birds and my daughter loves being part of the pheasantry with him. And since these ones are just a little bit less fragile, she's gotten to be really hands-on. So this week she's been working on schoolwork, we homeschool as you know, and I found her out in the quail pen, which is only four foot by four foot. It's a little brooder, which perfect for little birds. It's not the brooder quite so that good. I showed you all that I brooded all the chicks in, the pheasant chicks. Me MPNs meant for baby chicks, that. not really an eight-year-old girl. But yeah. I caught her out in the chicken pen with her laptop doing her lesson and had to go out there and I'm just, I'm really excited to show you all the work that she has put in and she's gonna join us and explain to us her little quail world and what it's all about. This is what's been going on while I'm at work. It's and, fun. Um, yeah, it's fun and um, I'm glad to show you guys. Let's go check it out. <laughs> all right, so here is the little brooder. I showed you guys earlier in the season, I use this as brooder for all the pheasant chicks, the models and the peafowl. But anyways, since we got these little guys, it has become our quail pin. And while I was at work, my daughter had turned this into a quail fantasy land type deal. I don't know what's going on in here, so we're gonna have to have her explain to us. All right, Miss Lorelei, tell us what everything is for. Um, I put the cage in there. Well, it's most. It was mostly for me putting them in so I could get the chair in there. Um, but now they, I just left it in there and they kind of sleep in it, and they sleep on my chair. What's that colorful blanket for? Um, I um in the mornings when it's cold, I take them out of the pen and then I wrap them in the blanket. <laughs> oh my gosh! My oh, they cuddle with you. <laughs> they all See? sleep in my lap. That's very cute. So, so you sit in on the chair. What's the, you got a brick in there? Let's open up the cage so you can get in there. Yeah, let's open up them. that cage. There's a lot going on in there. See the babies. There we go. Yeah. So you got a little brick over there. What's the brick for? There's a little brick, that one right that's there in the corner. That's a, not, that's a piece of wood. Oh, sorry. I oh, apologize. Piece of wood. So what's it for? Um, I put their food on it and I trained them. If they stay in the corner over there, I put food on it and they'll come. Oh, so you're training them as well? Mm-hmm. And how many different times have you renamed these little guys? About five or six. Wait, wait, let's let's go over what's going on in here. I got a we got a picture in here. What's the picture for Lorelai? Um of the food for them. Yeah, they're gonna eat a whole bunch of you, you keep that on hand in case they run out, right? Mm-hmm. Wow, okay. They they really eat that much food? Yeah. Look at that little one, it's all puffy. Wait, 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 wait. are you tough? Ooh. What's that one's name, Lorelai? Brownie. Brownie. Brownie, okay. Who's your favorite? Um, Peach over there in the corner. Peach right here? Peach, the one that is kind of like tan looking. Okay. Why is she your favorite? Because she's the only one that really likes me. Oh, um, she likes you, huh? So she's the one that cuddles and falls asleep in your lap? Well, they all do, but she's my favorite. Wait a minute, is this, isn't this Peach right here? Yeah. The lighter color one, right? Yeah. Okay, I was focusing on the other one. <laughs> oh, the yeah, white one? No, the other. The Darker white. tan looking one. Oh, that one's, um, that one's, um, um, that one's Buttercup. Buttercup. Which one is feisty? The one that you say keeps trying to escape? Um, the one with the brown on, on top. And... Oh, oh the, pied. the pied looking one? Yeah. I don't know. Do you refer to pied and quail? I don't know. Maybe someone will comment below and let us know what color pattern that is. I know for a peacock that'd be called pied, but for a quail, I don't know. Okay, so the chair. Now, what's the chair all about? Well, I use that cage over there to um, put them in so that way I could open the door fully and get the chair in. Oh. And when I get out, they sit on it. Oh. Oh, it's their chair. Oh my gosh, you really love these quail, don't you? Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Do you know what kind of quail they are? No. Nope. Cartoonix quail. It's been and, really special for her to get to make this her own little world. Yeah. And get to feel responsible for them. And she's been taking good care of them, making sure they're fed and watered. And you can tell they're happy and healthy. Yeah. Well, did we already talk about the kennel? Oh, yeah. What kennel? The little kennel that's in here? It, oh, it was yeah. her way to trap them so that she could get stuff in and out. And now oh, it's their bed. Oh, oh. Yeah, I really love this. This whole setup, Laura. This is really cool. Thanks for telling us all about it, sweetie. Uh-huh. So we just kind of sprung these quail on our viewers. I didn't even talk about them or nothing. I haven't said we we're gonna get Cortunix. We're just, boom, here they are, you know? Well, they were a day of decision. We found them on Craigslist and the auction had been such a fail. We needed something new. And we didn't just get five. There are more over here. the little Bob White that was grounded. It seems he has learned his lesson and is being much kinder. Yeah, we should introduce him back to the other ones pretty soon to see if it all works out. Well, my favorite part about picking out the uh, Cortunix quail was we went and the, the lady had, oh, it had to be over 200 in her garage. And we just got to pick by color. They're, they're so hard to sex that we just got to go through and decide, ooh, that's a pretty one. Ooh, look at that one, that's cute. It's my, my kind of birding. Yeah, pretty cool. You know what I've noticed too, babe? What's that? He hasn't been hoo-hooing as much. <laughs> hoo -hoo. He's not he's not lonely now that he's got buddies again. Yeah. Learn to behave. I really don't want to mix these. They're only in there for company right now. And that little Bob White will go back with the other one soon. We don't normally quarantine new birds, but these guys are going in with such expensive mm -hmm. birds that we've grown to love. Like, aren't some are going in with Mr. Tragapon? Oh yeah. So. Well, no, no, no. The um, the snowflake bob whites are. Oh, where are these guys going? These guys are gonna go, possibly with the yellows. Oh, we were gonna try that out. Yeah. Well, point being, the birds that they're going in with, we're, we're really yeah. This ain't their we home. We care a lot yeah. about them a lot. This ain't so their we permanent make sure home. We don't bring in any diseases. So yeah, there you have it, folks. We went off on a trip. We found a good deal on some Cortunix, and we decided to um, well, obviously get a few. Um, we lost a few bob whites, so we're kind of doing a test run with raising quail on our property here to see if there's any kind of quail disease that's going on. So. Getting these quail is kind of beneficial too for um, for later projects with the uh, bob whites. So hey, we're gonna see how this goes. Anyways, they pull one out, we're gonna check them out. So here we go. So Lorelai, who's this? Peach. This is I call Peach. her Princess Peach. Oh, hi, sweetheart. All right. I was trying to take their picture the other day. They like to get all puffy. Oh, <laughs> he pecked you. Wow, I thought you were the sweet one. But she for is. only being at our house for, what, a couple of days, uh -huh. Lorelai has done very good at mellowing them out. See, I... Did you hear that? This is, um... Wait, wait, I'm sorry, shh. Do it again. Mom, the other one was doing it much louder. Crazy. What, what are they doing? They were talking to us. Talking to you? Now I have heard and read that Cortunix are a lot calmer than Bob White's, you know. Mm -hmm. Hi. And that, so far that seems to be true. Hi. Very mellow. Look, we've got the, the kitty cat. I'll take the cat away. And it doesn't even care. No, she's okay. There we go. Pretty cool. Talk to us. Talk to us. Babe, show how the cat's here and the bird doesn't even. See, this is our first year with quail. Like I've said, you know, and I told the viewers, I've had birds my whole life. Pheasants, chickens, ducks. Pea fell periodically, but never quail. And I figured we, if we brought this guy out, that he would just take off. He would split, but that doesn't seem to be the issue right now. Lorelai's doing a good job. She mm -hmm. should run a run a bird taming service. <laughs> Hi. Wrapping, I love the little wrapping sound. Wrapping Cortunix quail in a blanket to keep them warm. You do have some of my blood in me, don't you, girl? <laughs> they fall asleep in my lap. I hope they can or hear this. Some sweet of my blood sound. in you. That's what I mean. 
You know what I meant. <laughs> it's poofy. They're all poofy. Hi. I hope they can hear your sweet little sounds. It makes me smile. Can I get them Hello. really close? Hello. Extreme close up. Hi. <laughs> Put them on some grass. Let them get some green. You want to come down? Hey you guys, this has been here once again at Splitting Tracks Pheasantry telling you thank you for watching and if you would like and subscribe if you haven't done so and uh, please comment below if you have any questions. Um, this is our little Cortunix quail introduction. It, we'll see how it goes. We'll keep you guys updated on these little guys. I'm going to put this one back. He looks like he's uh, not happy with me right now. But um, anyways, if you haven't liked and subscribed, please do so and uh, we'll catch you on the next one guys. Bye.